it's time for another book. And today, I bring a different and a special book compared to the others before. Por que nos mantemos de pé, or Why Do We Stand Up, as a possible translation to English, is a Portuguese book written by a young girl in Portuguese, Inês Paixão. Inês is a student of humanities at high school, and since a young age, she revealed her interest in not only reading, but also in writing. Despite all the articles for school journal, the academic texts, or the personal stories, she wanted to challenge herself, and a result, and as a result, sorry, she published her first book at the age of 16 in September 2021, I mean last year. This book narrates some historical events dated from the 20th century through different perspectives from distinct characters scattered from various places on Europe. Putnismentem Stupe covers some part of Italian and Austrian territories, and through the story, the reader follows the journey constructed by an Italian family, a pet with difficulties in between. One of the major difficulties each member of the family has to face, as many other people have too, is the Second World War. In this book, we can realize how the war had different impacts on the several characters and how it affected them in different ways. The author based his story on the fact that during this world conflict, Hitler, the Nazi leader of Germany, ordered to take down the various bridges that made part of Florence's identity. All the bridges were demolished, only except one, the old bridge, or as it is called, Pont Vecchio. This book explores an imaginary reason to explain why this bridge remains standing up, despite the inhumanity of the enormous war of the 20th, 20th century. Sorry, I must say that before starting reading the book, I thought to myself, okay, this is, was a good option to talk in, in an episode of this podcast. Firstly, because it is a Portuguese book, and I, as a Portuguese citizen, I should promote the Portuguese culture to my to my listeners. And secondly, because it is written by a young girl with a whole life ahead. And for me, this is, was a great uh, accomplisher for, for her. And what I like my what I like the most, sorry, about this book was the description. The words that the author uses to describe characters, places, or even actions enrich the whole story. And by talking of this, I had read you about the vocabulary. In my case, I had to have a dictionary, mostly at the beginning, for words I didn't know the meaning of. Of course, this is what my case. Hopefully, you will not have the same problem. The story is also creative, and despite being a simple story, easy to read. The reader has a lot to learn from it, and has a knowledge that I make that I think that make um, this book so interesting. The learning could be in a story or human growth perspective. Um, I, uh, and it also shows the importance and the role of, the, of a family in someone's life. And for me, this is something incredible. I also think that the way the family and all the members are characterized, it is so realistic and it transmits the idea that it's normal that in the same family, people are different and similar at the same time. And this is our reality. I mean, looking at our families, we can notice that one brother is different of his sister and vice versa. Throughout the story, the author also makes reference of historical events, ones more remarkable than others. So for history lovers, this is a great option for a book to read. And adding to this, the book also made me a prisoner of the story because I really got involved with the characters and wanted to know what was going on to happen before a certain action or a certain citation. Sorry. And this is something I find really fascinating in a book because the writer is able to create a connection, to create a relationship between the characters and the reader. And this is a factor that makes a book so special, at least for me and for my opinion. After saying what I said, I have only left encouraging and advising you to read the book. 
and invited you to share in the comments what you thought about the book after reading reading it. And for the Portuguese uh, speakers, speakers, it is a great recommendation. And I hope that someday the ones that do not understand Portuguese will be able to read this book. Um, and yet, and yet, thank you for your time, for listening to my podcast, and I hope you are enjoying it. And hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you.